Welcome to our lecture online. In electricity magnetism, we often use position vectors to relate where the charge is at, where the electric field is supposed to be measured or calculated, and sometimes that's a source of confusion. So let's try to clear it up a little bit. What do we mean by the position vector? Well, from a standard uh, way of defining it, we simply have a point in space, in three-dimensional space, and that point has an x, a y, and a z coordinate. So you can see that this is the distance away from the, in the, from the origin and distance of the x direction, this is the distance away from the origin in the y direction, and this is the distance away from the origin in the z direction. So we can simply come up with a, a vector that points from the origin to that location. We can call that r or the position vector. So it's simply x in the i direction plus y in the j direction plus z in the k direction. Or if you prefer, you can call it x, y, and z unit vectors. The magnitude of that vector is simply the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. And if we then want to define a unit vector in that direction, we simply take the position vector and divide it by its magnitude. Now, if we have a three-dimensional space, and in that space we have a source charge, and we have a point at which we want to determine the field, the electric field, at that point, due to that charge. So we can have a position vector pointing to the charge, R sub C, and we can have a position vector pointing to the point in space where we want to calculate the electric field, call it R sub F. And then we want to have a vector that points from the charge to the point in space where we want to know the electric field, and that's the vector of importance. Let's call that R the position vector of the, of the field point relative to where the charge is located. So if we want to calculate the position vector from the charge to where the electric field is at, we simply draw the vector by taking the difference between the vector, the position vector, to the field position minus the position vector to the charge position. And so simply, it's a vector from the charge to the field, which is RF minus RC. And then if we want to define that in terms of their components, the x, y, and z components of both where the charge is located and where we want to calculate the field, we simply take the difference between the x component of the field minus the x component of the charge, the y component of the field minus the y component of the charge, the z component of the field minus the z component of the charge in the x, y, and z direction, and that's how we come up with the vector that points from the charge to the location of the field, which is what we're going to be interested in. But that's how we use the individual position vector relative to the origin and transform that into a vector from the charge to where the electric field is at. Understanding that is going to be very helpful in the future when we're dealing with these kind of things. Remember the definitions, R sub C is the position vector pointing to the charge and R sub F is the position vector pointing to the field point to help us out with that. And that is how we're going to get a handle of how to deal with that kind of notation when we're dealing with the actual fields. And that is how it's done.